I don't know. Oh man, what the heck. I'm gonna get my poncho ready. Go away, dude. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Well, howdy doody, guys! Can you guess where we're at? Where are we? Yeah, you guessed correctly. I don't know what you guessed, but you probably guessed correctly. We are back at the Urban Stealth location. I have not been out here since I tore everything down to see if they, whoever was out here messing around, built something. I can tell you now, from it looks like they started to build something out here. Oh gosh, spider webs. <laughs> yeah. Ah! What was that? All right, come here, stick. I don't know if somebody's even out here or not. I don't know. I'm trying to be quiet. I should be loud. It's making a ruckus. Today is Friday, and I would imagine somebody be out here, maybe, possibly. I don't know. We're just gonna wing ding chicken wing it. As always, it is super late in the day. It is already seven o'clock. Um, dark cloudy skies above us. We're supposed to get some rain skis. We'll see what happens. I brought the hammock. And we're just gonna go a little bit past the urban the location we normally had. Get it together. So freaking humid under the trees. There's no breeze. No breeze. There's no Drew breeze under here. Uh. All right. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Check it out. Walk it out. Talk it out. Whatever. Well, coming into the old location, it looks like they set up the uh, seats again. I know I haven't cleaned up my mess with that thing yet, but they've definitely been out here having fires, sitting around the fire, just winging it. You can tell they don't know what the hell they're doing. Just some turds, whatever. Oh, they drug the door back up. They tried to drag some of my stuff back up from where it was. I don't care if they find Yeah, there's a pile of wood. The water is definitely high. Well, this spot is treated as well. But they've been definitely coming out here having an old powwow. All right, well, we're gonna make our way down to where we, where I normally hammock camp out here. Oh, throw all this thick, tick, tick brush. It is humid, it rained all night. And now, it's gonna rain again. Sticky, sweating, whatever. Oh. Not liking the spider webs. I don't like it. Not liking it. This grass is so thick. Yeehaw. We shall see what happens. See the sweat on my forehead already? <sighs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Get clobbered in the head. Hope this play spot isn't overgrown already. I usually like coming back here because it's never really overgrown. Man, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I am out of shape.
Yeah, it's kind of overgrown, but we'll figure it out. We shot a figure attempt. Oh. Good old hammock spot. We did the winter camp here. All right, well, we found our home. We made it in. There's no breeze under here or nothing. It is super stagnant. Stagnant. Everybody take five. Get Catch your breath. Rest your legs. Eat an apple. All right. Like I said, it's cloudy. We gotta get this tarp up. Get base camp all established first. We're just winging it. Whatever. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Ugh. Got some water. Let's just lids on there. Got some water. I got a couple buddies who wanted to come hang out. Well, we don't have them on ice, so you know we gotta take those to Pound Town real soon now. I also got my crazy friend that wanted to hang out. It don't matter if he's a little bit warmer now. We drink that one pretty good. Check was that? Time to see. Deer. Maybe turkey. I don't know. Uh oh, we're losing him. If the weather gets crazy, I brought my little weather radio. Oh, I had to turn the button on. Oh boy. That was some little noodles. But like I said, it's late in the day. I already had din din to be honest. I had to work. A little bit of play. And come out here and stay the night away. That's what we're doing. A little folding camping chair. Heck yeah, we're just gonna sit back, relax, have a good time. Uh, we got a turd of a hammock. I can't remember if I ripped the holes in this thing or not. I know the, the brown one I ripped. I don't know if I ripped this one or not. We shall see. Look at this. Look at that thunder. Isn't that ready? No way. No way. What's going on here? Yeah, got a mess. Alright, well, hopefully. I think we can wing this thing perfectly. I think it sounds like we're getting thunder already. Skaters, skaters are gonna get me. Get me real good. It's already raining. It's already freaking raining. Oh boy. Here we go. I gotta put you guys in the sack before we get dumped on. Oh gosh. Not cool. Actually, I gotta put you in the bag. Maybe, but hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully we can get it down. Here comes the frickin' rain. Not too worried about that. We gotta get this tarp going. I don't know how this is gonna go. Or what? Whatever. We just need shelter. We need shelter. We don't have a rib line. <laughs> oh, we're tough. We're tough. We're tough. Where you at? There you are. There you are. Uh, I got you guys kind of under the tree, so. Hopefully you don't get too wet. 
or you don't get wet at all. Hopefully. Come on! Whew. Settle down. That's what you're getting in a hurry. And take five. Slow down. Slow your roll. Where's that? What I do with it? Okay. Come on. For those of you who don't know, yes, this is an urban location. Save us every freaking time. Yeehaw. That's my unit gear tarp. Yeah. 12 or 10 or something like that. He's a big He's a big Peachy, coming along. Get a nice slight breeze through here. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited to get back out here. Yeah! <sighs> Even if it's the same patch. I was sitting there on freaking Google Earth trying to figure something out, somewhere else to go. And I was like, you know what? We're going back. I mean, this spot here seems to work out for us. I mean, we can't build a st structure without it getting messed with, but at least we can still come here and fart around, I guess. Got to stay positive. Look at the bright side of it. Um, I was going to go do a lake, um, like camp out and like catch and cook or something, but all the lakes around here, they had an advisory for uh, uh, testing positive with E. coli. Deer. I wonder if you guys heard that. But yeah, the lakes test positive for E. coli. Maybe the lakes got COVID, I don't know. Um, we're just winging it. One day at a time, one adventure at a time. I never know what I'm going to do next. I don't even have them. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to do after I put this tarp up. <laughs> Beats me. Probably crack a cold one while it's still cold before it comes an old one. Skeeters are nailing me. Enough yammering. Let's get the mission going. Comes the rain again. Ugh. Just think I put you guys under the tarp now. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to live in that tarp life for a little bit. Like I said, it's getting late, so it's dark. You guys probably can't see where the crap. <sighs> yeah! That's what we're doing. How we're living, baby. Woo! First things first, before I set up this, I to put that dang net up. I put it back. I'm in that way. Son of a biscuit eater. Keep that closed. Before we try to attach the bug net, let's climb on here and see if it holds my hefty behind. We're almost on the floor. <laughs> Alright. Let's tighten these bad boys up a little bit. Yeah, because we're going to be on the floor come morning, that's for sure, probably. Oh, here's another line. I can't see anything. Man. Whatever. Well, kind of good and sunny. <laughs> All right. Great. I'm going to get this bed all made up, ready to rock. I know the mosquitoes are going to nail me through this thing. That's why I'm, I really don't like these because I always get nailed by mosquitoes through the dang thing, like in my back. So hopefully this pad. Or maybe I need to figure out like a cocoon thing. I don't know. I don't have super hammocky stuff. Nor do I really super hammocky stuff. Ooh. 
Ooh, that'll get you lightheaded. Holy moly. That'll be all right. Set up our little $4, $4 or $5 Salvation Army chair. Do it yourself. It's an instant one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. Maybe. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. It's so hot. I just want to sit down, take a drink of water, and then we crack a brisket. We we'll crack a brisket. Come on. This is why your owner donated you. You don't listen. Oh yeah. Now we're living. <sighs> Get off me, peasant. <sighs> Alright, I need some water. Kind of lightheaded. Whee! Nice and kind of dark clouds over there. And you pan through the trees. To get to blue seas, blue skies are upon us. For now. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. This is NOAA All Hazards Radio Station KIH 61 in Omaha, Nebraska. The current time is 8:06 p.m. 8:06. Daylight time. It's starting to cloud up again. Uncle planning about 88 with humidity. <laughs> oh, we got that thing going. Sit back, listen to that. Um, they were saying something about possible flooding, so... Next to this creek, we're going to keep an eye on that. Yeah, I don't know. We're just winging it. Whatever. Brewski time? All right then. Yeah. She ain't cold, but the coldest thing. But... Oh, that's actually pretty terrible. Yeah. Great. Last day. I don't even want to fire yet. It's too freaking hot. It's starting to cool down, but it's still muggy. Like I said, we ain't gonna be doing much. We're finally happy to get out here, sit back, shoot the crap, and chit chat. Yeah. Said high winds. I don't think. Hopefully nothing blows down, and smashes us. That's the good thing with the other spot. The trees are all pretty much green over there, so nothing's really gonna fall. But. See if we survive. Well, cheers to that. Yeah, we can barely see the creek from here, but it's higher than normal, but definitely 
when it flooded out here before a few years ago the water came all the way up here and was wh whipping through here so possible flash flood I doubt it would get this high again I would think I don't know but it rained all day all night last night pretty much most of this morning water will be flowing that's all we know in patch of trees we call home it's starting to get dark again up there Let's see what happens we're just letting our hair blow in the wind trying not to sin and hoping for a win <laughs> yeah let me tell you a little story about my life They just issued a severe thunderstorm now. In case you guys hearing aid wasn't turned up all the way, I told you what it was. What the man said, all right? Ping pong ball size hell. <laughs> Ping pong ball size hell. It might be a little bit east of us. I don't know. We'll just wait. We'll see what happens. We get super severe winds. It's really going to put uh, this tarp to test, right? Whatever. Yeah, flesh flooded, surfing. I don't know. I'm gonna sit back, stare at these trees, listen to this, see what happens. And here come the winds. Guys, it's super yellow over here. Clouds are all rumbling up. Oh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Focus camera. That's gonna be to the east of us. But that thing's probably gonna produce some some nonsense. Those clouds look pretty gnarly. We shall see what happens to McGee in the trees. Will he get blown away? Found in the tree. I don't know. We don't know, Jimmy. Oh man, it's super dark over here. It's hard to focus on that a little bit, but yeah, the town over. I bet you the town over gets a good old whopping punched right in the kisser. Oh, about got chopped up in the kipper, kissed her. Yeah, getting pumped out. See what happens. Keep you posted. Things are gonna get hairy. Maybe a little scary, but we ain't gonna fly away because we ain't a fairy. Kind of hairy. Peaceful though, even though. The biggest thing that gets to me out here is all the car noise. It sucks. But I don't have a lot of places to go. So I just make the best of our little patch of weeds, I suppose. Even though we got people that hang out over there now. Let's see. Let's see what the night brings us. Who knows? Ch 
Rio. Alright, well there's our cue. We're starting to dump. Uh, let me grab that chair before you can see it. Too, so oh, I feel good. Just the light splashes off the leaves above. Marvelous. <laughs> it's marvelous. Good times. Good times. There you are. I'm glad I brought this little chair. It's nice to not have to craft something just to carry something. Now we're just glamping anyway, man. Just having a good time. A couple suds. A couple buds. A couple rumbles in the sky. It's like crazy over there. It's like super dark. Yellow. Super dark. It's like a ice cream sandwich of clouds. See what we get. Until then, cheers. Yeah, you gotta cheers the warm beers though. So let your beer sit out in the sun for a bit. To the east of us, probably got to get slaughtered by the sounds of it. Oh boy. Yeah, they're probably getting rumbling the Bronx over there. Oof. Flash, flash, look at it flash. That's just past us though. So we'll see what happens if we get next round of something. I don't know. Ring it. Or expected hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs. Well, what they the severe thunderstorm is out of the way now for us. For your protection, it's going to hit the guys in the next town over. Building. So, but we still warning remains in effect until 9:15 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa: Mills, Montgomery, and Page. Flash flood information. Yeah. Flash flood until tomorrow, though. So we are supposed to get some rain overnight. But the flash flood watched for portions of Iowa flash and Nebraska, flash. including the following areas in Iowa, Fremont, Harrison, That's what we're doing. We're sitting back, Monona, riding Montgomery, it out. It dropped. The temperature drops a lot. We got a nice cool breeze. In Nebraska, Did you stop, robot? Jeez. So that's the game plan. We're just hanging out, riding it out. Kind of got bluer sunsetty looking skies off in the distance so I think we'll be okay till later but they are saying around like 1 a.m. rain so I don't know we'll just play it by beer till then we got one more full beer and then we got a uh, twisted tea till uh yeah See what happens. You ever had those days? You're just like so exhausted you don't really, really want to do anything. 
like I wanted to start a fire, but it's not cold, so I don't even care if there is a fire, to be honest. It's like exhausted, don't even really want to start a fire. That light's really attracting mosquitoes. That's fine. Stay over there. Oh. Almost fell asleep in this chair. You just don't really want to do anything sometimes. It doesn't matter. Like, I almost didn't even come out here tonight. I was like, you know what? Get your button gear and just go. So I was dreading coming back to the same spot, the same crap over and over. But it actually feels nice to get out here and just hear somewhat sounds of nature. We're not in the middle of nowhere and we don't got a heap in sky of stars or mountains off in the distance but better than nothing I guess a little something something yeah shovel all twisted wee <laughs> wee all right, well, we all know we, I quit smoking, so I picked up uh, chewing tobacco instead. So let's get up a little bit of that. All up in there, you know. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> what a good little snack. I think I am going to get fired on. Just because. Who knows? something to do. Alright. Grasshopper. Get out of here. Look at this guy. What do you want? What do you want? Hand it to Spider. Can you focus? Are you going to focus in there? Are you going to focus on that little Spider? Come on, Cannon. You have the power to focus on the Spider. I don't know where I want to go. Up, down. Move it all around. So up, down. Whatever. Fire! Hot dig at a dog. Sorry you guys can't see nothing. It's like E.T. coming and beaming down. Well, if I don't have to saw, I'm not gonna. Ugh. Bugs are attacking my forehead with this light though. It's a death beam. Put a little base layer down, some tiny twigs. I think I still have some birch bark from South Dakota in that in my little tender bundle. Jeez, not tender bundle, fire kit. Get it together. Get a little twiggy go. Hopefully some of this is dry enough to take off. Like I said, it's been raining like crazy. I mean we could feather some feather stick up some stuff. But if we can hit it with some birch bark and throw little twigs on there, less work, easy. Simple, straight to the point fire. And yes, I do. I have plenty of birch in this bad boy. I'm carrying this little turd. This thing's awesome. I love it. I got this in Oregon. Well, I bought one in Oregon and uh, went on a little bike ride and lost it and then my little gal pal for Father's Day bingo she got me another one cuz she knew how much I liked it and I was very thankful to her and I appreciate it very very much <laughs> this thing's sweet perfect little guy I love it very versatile tiny very little skinner flare hey not too shabby all right get this fire going. I don't have a lot of experience with birch. 
I never really use it. I mean, we got fat wood. What I mainly use. It's pretty much kind of like the same concept, yeah? And this knife is sweet because uh, that mounts sideways on your belt. If you want to mount it like that, or it comes uh, with a string so you can run it as a neck knife. But yeah, alright. Hit her with a frail rod and see what happens, eh? Well, she took it right off. Dang, they're about as good as fat wood. That's pretty impressive. Where'd the rest of it go? I think I'm actually gonna... Come on. What did I do with it? Where'd it go? I thought I had... I had more tinder over here. Perfect. Guess that was it. Alright. I'm gonna sacrifice another piece of birch. Just for, just because. Hey, maybe we will have some noodles for breakfast. So I brought oatmeal for breakfast. Oatmeal is never really filling. You have to eat a bunch, and it's really not the greatest. I'm more of a steak and eggs kind of guy. I know yogurt and strawberries, but yeah, if you're hungry, you'll eat. It's all in there. Getting hungry. A little food up in us. Those twisted teas, you guys ever drank those before? I mean, I was on a wild kick with those things, but haven't been drinking them as much because they tear my stomach. I'm sure as sheet. Stomach hurts. <laughs> Get some grub up in us. Let's see what happens. Eat some food. Probably lay down until. See what happens. It's supposed to get rain overnight. And then once that happens, we'll get up, you know, and we'll just make a little documentary of the storm glistening in the wind. All that good stuff. Ah, my fingers. Alright. Alright, she's boiling there. That thing's hotter than the episode of Baywatch, let me tell you. Hopefully it doesn't melt the plastic. Ah, plastic's super hot. <laughs> ah. Alright, good enough for me. Cool beans. Ouch. Let that thing hang out for a bit. Soak up all the moisture. A while back I did a review on this headlamp. And I forgot to mention, well, I actually just figured this out. If you double tap it, it goes into that, uh, like hyper mode. It's so freaking bright. Like, look at that. That is insane. That's crazy. I see absolutely everything. This little light is so freaking gnarly. Definitely worth it crazy then when you click it again it goes back to its regular light but if you double her like in a, in a pinch no matter what setting you're on if you're going low double click boom bright light pretty cool 
Not too shabby of a little light. That thing is like. <laughs> oh, it's cool. <laughs> Gnarly. Whatever. Sorry, I'm easily, I'm easily entertained. <laughs> yep. Time to take noodles pound town. Come with this little sauce packet. I'm not sure exactly it's soy or what. But I tell you what, I do not mind these. These are way better than regular ramen. The yakisodo noodle. Whatever the heck. Mighty fine. It's approaching midnight now. It's getting pretty late. Yeah, I'm going to... Probably gonna pay, take this pound town. Probably crawl on a sack. Been a long day. A lot of play. Time to lay. <laughs> Almost forgot. I brought, <laughs> I brought a fortune cookie since we were having noodles, fine Chinese cuisine tonight. So, what is our fortune? Your love of your life will be happy and harmonious. Interesting. <laughs> Lucky numbers 18, 27, 16, 20, 35, 65. Learn Chinese. Smooth going. Shen Li. Shen Lai. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not. The camera going to focus on that. Shen Li, Shen Lai, learn Chinese. I can't even see if it's picking up or not. Sorry guys, I'm blinded by the light. A hot daggery dog. This is going to be a lot of love and lottery numbers. Hot daggery dog. I'm um, just getting really humid. But I think I'm going to try to lay down. I'm tired. Eyes are getting heavy. Climbing in the old death sack. Let's see what happens. Let's sit on this bad boy and see if we rip this uh, mosquito net off. <laughs> uh, I think it should have enough play. Oh. Alright, theoretically we'd be alright. Ah! Get off me! <laughs> oh, I'm taking beetles to bed. Only like listening to them before bed. Alright. Well. We'll find out how much crap is crawling in my shoe come morning. Or here after bit, because if it starts pouring down rain and whatnot, I'll fire you guys back up and we'll get the good old footage. Let's see what happens. I didn't clear anything out. I'm just sitting in a pile of weeds. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Well, wish me luck.
Yeah, I'm definitely getting hit with rain. That sucks. That crosswind. Man. Might have been a bad idea. Poor choice of days. Put you guys in the sack. I don't know. Sharp's doing an excellent job so far. Freaking freaky. Sorry, I'm blinding the crap out of you, probably. This is a freaking gnarly storm. Oh, man. Oh! I definitely gotta put you in the sack. It's gotta go in the sack. Is it this? Ah! Alright, sack, sack, sack. Pretty freaking gnarly storm. Let's see what happens. I'm wide awake now. I'm getting a lot of rain too, so I bet you that creek's coming up. Oh, wow. Crazy.
hear it rustling around. When I was just blowing in, it was the wind whipping. Oh man. Oh, we're just gonna get soaked. Soothing though. The sound of that rain hitting the attack. And then <laughs> oh. Bala, snap crackle pie, rice krispies. <laughs> oh man. I'm worried about the tree, but I messed up on two things. I should have brought my muck boots. Yeah, I guess just that. She brought my freaking money. Boots. It don't matter. If they start to fly today, I'll run out of here bare without my damn shoes on, grab a backpack, and whatever we gotta do. I really don't do it. Trapped this burrito. If the water comes up either, that'd be terrible. Uh, so, yeah. Good luck, buddy. Here we go. Starting to calm down, mellow it out a little bit. It's pretty rough there for a second. I thought I was bit off more than I could chew there. I chew a lot with my mouth open, so you guys hate it. That's just such a point. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to get out. Check that creek. I don't want to get out. Check your creek. I think I'm going to try to get some shut eye a little bit. Possibly. I'm oh, just swinging it. Trying to survive. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I'm starting to pick back up now. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get a little bit. Oh, there we got like an hour and a half nap. Oh, yeah. I took you guys out of the sack. I want to start getting super windy again. Get crosswind and then I have to put you back in the sack. The tarp's doing its job. So I mean, if it, worst comes to worst, it's tied down pretty good starts with them and I'll just stand up under here. I mean we should be okay. But, yeah. We'll play it by here. Well I climbed out of the sack. I'm gonna go put this GoPro up in a tree. Well, this is always a good little tip. If it's gonna rain, make sure you have a knot or something uh, in your line. So that way when the rain catches it, or when it comes down the line, it doesn't drip all, go all the way into your hammock and get all your gear soaked. So I had to do it over here. I had to give it a little something. So if it runs down this line, 
It's gonna catch onto here first, and then go down. I didn't get to check the freaking. I didn't jump out and check the water yet. As soon as I was getting ready to come out, it started dumping again. So. Cheers, so. Start settling down a little bit. If it does, I don't know. Maybe I just should check the water real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna check the water real quick. See where it's at, I guess. That little critter trying to come down in here. No, don't you be backing up down here with us. Go away, dude. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Come on. This thing sagged completely. Got super stretchy. We're banging around the floor. Great. Whoa! What the heck happened? How the heck that happened? What the heck? Camera loose. The mount loose? That's weird. You guys came flying at me. What the heck? We'll be just perfectly off the ground by about a foot. But, uh, let's try this one more time. Try to crawl up in here. Still heavy, didn't get much sleep, and uh, hammock's damp because of the tie down strap on the top side. Uh, doesn't really repel the water when you tie the knot and stuff on it, like you do to the rope, because it's like a strap. A piece of rope, so yeah. Long well, story short, sure. my shoulders are kind of damp. <sighs> Nothing too wild. <sighs> Let me gather my thoughts and we'll figure it out. <laughs> Oh, rise and shine. Oh. Spider. Oh. Any critters in there? Get out. Get out of my boot. Oh. I'll tell you what, I didn't want to. I don't really want to get up. But I want to get up. The bottom of this thing got wet. Now my sleeves are damp. And mostly just my right one. It's making me chilly. Alright. <laughs> Yeehaw. Time my boots. We'll figure it out. Uh, no big game plans. Everything's just a freaking mess wet so we're gonna get soaked walking out of here oh.
Uh, the water level's up about a foot. That's about it. And getting all crazy, crazy, crazy going on. But that's good. At least we didn't have to surf out of our hammock downstream or something. That's a plus. <sighs> All right. I don't know. I honestly want to crawl back in the sleeping bag. Just <laughs> but it's damp. What I was talking about was the dang tie down up top. Ugh. This thing takes uh, oh this thing here takes on so much freaking water that it was still letting it get through no matter how many loops I put in that freaking thing it just kept wanting to come through that and the whole top of this thing soaked I don't know if you can see that or not it came all the way down to the bottom how far did it go all the way to the bottom, the whole bottom of that dang thing so good thing I had that mat. That's a plus. Would have been a soggy bottom, boy. Sworn for sure. I love this freaking tire. This thing's pretty sweet. And the, it's got the reflectance on the inside. A lot of you have seen it. Um, uh, some of you who don't, who haven't seen it, have you set it up like as your primary uh, tent, tarp tent, whatever, do it with like a plow point. And uh, the reflective uh, bounces back the heat really nice if you put a fire in front of you. Ain't it? Uh, Ain't I so great with words? Way, I w way one words things. <laughs> yeah. I just know what it does. I ain't good at explaining what it does, right? Heat, reflects, boom, suntan, and it sticks. But, yeah. All right, let's get this thing taken down. I'm not so sure. Oh, you know what? I sh ah! Coffee! Wow! Ah! I thought I grabbed some, but I spaced it. Peachy. What I think we are going to do, though, is uh, I'm not going to trek through all the weeds on the way back. We can hit the train tracks and jet out. That way we don't have... Because these boots aren't the greatest. Might have sopped wet feet. Whatever. I guess it is what it is. Wet feet, feet, feet. I got oatmeal too, though. So, I might just eat that cold. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't even sound good. I want some bacon, some eggs. Should have brought all that. But, that's what happens when you're poor. By the way, I'm just kidding. I'm not poor. I have a lot, a lot to be very thankful for, and all the good things that's happened over the past year and stuff, man. I just gotta embrace the suck sometimes. Ugh. Think of the positives. Keep on keeping on. Keep on trucking. Ugh. This thing's a soggy mess. Something in my bow. Once we get her home, we gotta reopen it again, let her dry out. Yeehaw. You know what? I don't feel like eating nasty oatmeal for breakfast. Nasty cold soggy oatmeal, I guess. Oh. So we're gonna do a little jack thing. A little jack. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better.
if you haven't had this, it reminds me of sawdust with salt. <laughs> About it. Yipper. I'll get this crap packed up and get ready to head out of here. Nothing too fancy, nothing crazy at all. Just finally getting out and absorbing it. Decluttering the mind. We'll figure something out. I've been tinkering around with my boats. Both of them had holes in it. I had a, a new blue one that a buddy sold me, but failed to mention that there was a hole in the back end of it. So I happened to get, I wanted to do some kayak camping. But I think I finally got that taken care of, so maybe we'll be able to get some of that in soon too. Who knows, I don't even know what I'm gonna do next, like I said yesterday. Let's figure it out. One day at a time. Whatever pops up, pops up. We'll do whatever. Six colors ahead of us, Jimmy. Hey, Dad, look, it's Grandma. <laughs> you guys ever seen that commercial? Pretty funny. Well, time to beat feet. Oh, oh come on, T Rex arms. Get in there. Well, that was the first official test really for this dry bag. It's not too shabby. I mean, it does its job. My only concern is it's kind of thin, I guess. But they give you a five year warranty and just you gotta be honest and they'll replace it, is what they say. So, with that being said, let's make our way to the tracks. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Cobwebs on my forehead. Great. <laughs> Here's our hobo highway. Oh. <laughs> well, guys. Thanks for coming along with my goofy shenanigans. Uh, it wasn't very well planned out. <laughs> kind of unorganized as always. I forgot pretty much breakfast stuff. Besides the oatmeal, I don't really want oatmeal. To be honest. So, and we got out here late. It wasn't the most extraordinary overnight or anything too crazy. But hey, we got to get out, have a couple brewskis. Watch some super slick lightning fly through the air. A couple rumbles. It's not too shabby of a night, I suppose. And hey, we finally got to get out. We haven't got to do that in a while. So, not too shabby. But, don't know what's coming next for the third time. We'll just wing it. We'll see what happens. Well, I'll do something. Who knows? We'll figure it out. We'll have fun. I'll just bring you along. No matter what it is, if I go outside, I'm going to film it. And you're going to see it. If you don't like it, too bad. But, got some deer up here. Some baby deer. See them along the track. They're like, what's going on? Uh, my camera don't zoom that far. Oh, they're about to run into traffic. I see him over there. Ears all done up. Anyway, that being said, with that being said, with that being said, oh my gosh, would you just go lay in bed? Man. <laughs> Sorry, losing my mind. Make every day grace for earth. Catch you guys on the next one. Wing dang chicken bang. Wing, bang, green beans, <laughs> casserole. Bye. Just kidding. There's Bambi. Bambi. Seem a little better now.
a doe, a deer, a female deer. Sorry, I'm walking on train tracks with a tripod that's extended and you can't see. Better run deer, I am a train. The D-Wayne train. Don't get derailed. Whatever. Take it easy. Bye. See ya. Have a great day.